Because hell, why not? You you worked hard for it. You're from Hawaii. Well, I mean, you went to Hawaii when? Yeah. I can't. I said I'm not going back to Hawaii unless I got me a companion with me. Because Hawaii is too beautiful for me to be there solo. Mm -mm. I already had me a little piece on the side going with me over there. Because that's too beautiful. It is so beautiful over there. And um, I, I, when I was there this last time, I was like, you know what? As much as I love it here, it's beautiful. I'm not coming back over here unless I got somebody in the bed with mine. The sunset and the sunrise, certain little places they have, the balcony of your hotel, it's just all this water. You can see the, the moon shining on it. They got beautiful lights down there. It's so beautiful. And I need somebody to be with me during that time. Fuck that. Go out there and look for something. Uh-uh. I ain't got time for that. I'd rather have my, my guarantee with me. Because shit, ain't no guarantee you're going to go out there and find something. Because they closed down at 12 o'clock. I mean, I think it was 2. Baby, when it's 2 o'clock, trust me, nobody's on the street. I don't know how them people get in their cars so damn fast and they get in their cars and they take off. It ain't no malingering around the club when it's over. They ain't no hanging out in the parking lot. Car home. I'm like, where is everybody at? We just riding the scooters and baby. Beautiful. Hey, baby. But I can't go to Hawaii by myself, yeah. You a strong one. It is going to be beautiful. I can't recommend any eateries for you to go to. Um, I just know there was some good places by the beach. Like right before you cross over to the beach side, uh, along that path right there, there were some pretty good restaurants I went to go um, put my teeth into and chew. But other than that, I don't know... Um, I don't know uh, where um, to tell you to go. But if you could get somebody uh, to get you, what is it called? Not Kahlua. Is it called Kahlua? I don't know what it's called, honestly, but I know it's with, um, it's, it's cabbage with uh, pig meat. Everybody eat ham, that's a pig. So it's, it's cabbage with ham. Put it that way. And if you get the right person to make it, for me, it's not us. Because um, that Kahlua, I think it's called Kahlua, but it's, it's cabbage and it's like ham in there. Diced up ham. When I say that shit is bomb, it is good. Hey, Cherry. And, uh, Jacob, congratulations on your... You're the first podcast to do something live, aren't you? The emperor is going to treat you. Are oh, you going to get treated good, girl. Try all that food. Try it for me because you know I ain't trying shit new. I don't want no pig. I don't want no squid. I don't want no goddamn tilapia. I don't want no fucking uh, lamb chops. I don't want none of that. Don't belong in my mouth. I don't want to do shit with my mouth with no, none of the meats. So please try it for me. I think your stomach can handle it. A bit. <laughs> I think your stomach can handle it a lot better than mine can. That'll probably give a bitch brown water for years. Mm -hmm. The Beverly Center, that's it. I don't want none of that in my stomach. See, I didn't grow up with that shit in my mouth and stomach. So my stomach and my body probably can't take that or know how to react to that. 
So I don't want to put that in my body because they may reject it. And I'm about to be 47 in a couple of weeks and I ain't got time. Mm -mm, too old. She's trying to give me to eat pig and all that other shit back in the day. They say eat the eyeballs. You got me fucked up. I have never had a lamb chop. I don't fuck with lamb chop. They gave me caviar in my dressing room one time. And I'm looking. And I'm like, what is this black shit they got over here on this table? And it's just shiny and slimy looking. So I'm looking like, what the fuck is this slimy shit over here? So... I go over to the little display of food that they had for me because whatever they had out there for the party, they had gave me my own little personal. Honey, I'm looking. I asked the lady. I said, man, what is this? She said, oh, that's caviar. I looked at her. I said, fish egg? She said, yes. I said, you can take that out of here. All that seafood stuff you can take up out of there. Bring me some more of these munchy sandwiches and these crackers and I'm going to be just fine. I would be just fine with these munchy sandwiches and these crackers, baby. Please get this shit up out of here. She said, you sure? I said, yeah, I don't eat seafood. They had shrimp cocktail with the with the red sauce with the shrimp coming out. They had a whole little display of seafood and shit. Uh-uh, give me some of these little sandwiches down here. That's a ham and turkey. I can fuck these up and be good because I'm not going to eat none of that. You don't even need to put no more of that on this tray. I was like, ugh, that shit looked that nasty. I don't, I don't even know how people could cook that, that. It just looks slimy, ballsy. It just, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't want that in my mouth and stomach. You can have that. If they have a real name, I'm not eating it. They say Cornish hen. I'm not eating no Cornish hen. It's just a baby chicken. I don't know what it is. I don't like the word corner chin. That don't sound good going in my mouth. I'm going to pass on that. I hear it's supposed to be good, though. A lot of people say, once you like, try it, you may really like it. I said, well, guess what? I really ain't going to try it, so I'm never going to really like it. I can tell you that. Uh-uh. They tell me to try crab, lobster, all that shit. I'm like, mm -mm. Just looking at it, don't look, it don't, it don't look good to me. It just don't look good to me. My eyeballs maybe see something different, but that don't look good to me. Crab meat, lobster meat, all that. Mm -mm. Give me some fried shrimp and I can hang with that. Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm a picky eater though. I'm very picky. I'm picky on who cooks it and what it is. What is that? Uh-uh. I ain't going to try that. Nope. I heard lobster is the, is the cockroach of the sea. That don't even make me, that don't make me want nothing. Hey, uh, Russell, I seen your message Friday. Friday may work. We're the same. I can only do fried shrimp. And yeah, I like mine fried like chicken, baby. Man, I want crunch. I don't want nothing grilled. I don't want nothing sauteed. I don't want shit boiled. I want that shit in some flour and grease. Fry that bitch up. Mm-hmm. A lot of people eat sushi. My friend just got sick off of eating some damn sushi at a hospital. Bitch, why would you eat something like that at a hospital? Like, why do you need it? Why would you want to eat sushi out of a fucking hospital? That sounds like something you only eat when they're supposed to be serving it. 
any type of restaurant that serves fucking sushi. I wouldn't go to Cheesecake Factory and eat no fucking sushi. That's something different. I will only go to the restaurants that sell fucking sushi. They, all they got is raw shit, sea shit. That's what they do. Why would you want to go to Cheesecake Factory, the Piggly Wiggly, somewhere to eat some damn sushi? Bitch, please. No wonder why your stomach fucked up. And his stomach was fucked up, too. I said, that water coming out liquidy, bitch. You ain't got no stool. You just shitting out liquid. Green liquid. Because your stomach fucked up. Yeah. Green and damn, what is that? Uh, neon yellow. Because your stomach line is fucked up. Eating that sushi at that motherfucking hospital. For real? That's what it looked like. Baby, I wouldn't get cheesecake from nobody because I don't eat cheese. I don't eat cheesecake. I don't do pies and I don't do cheesecakes. Baby, they wasn't going to bother them for a couple of days when you got an upset stomach. That shit just don't go away. Baby, please, your water is still liquidy. And you didn't even put nothing up there to make it liquidy. It just liquidy. And with some color to it. Brown, green, yellow. Yeah. That's what happens. I need to have kids. I'm going to become a drag parent. Well, not a drag parent, just a parent. Because folks be asking, could you be my guy, my drag uh, mother? Uh-uh. If I got to be anybody drag anything, mother, they are they already have to have business in the street. 